Hey guys, Kalev here and welcome back. Today I want to show you what's new in GNOME Share 336. This week we have GNOME 336 beta release upstream and with the beta release out we are now entering the UI freeze. And with the UI freeze started I think it's a great time to show you guys what's new. So let's jump right in. Okay, so here I'm at the login screen. The first thing we notice is that the password prompt now has a new button for showing the password text. And when I click on it, my password is revealed. The same works in all other password dialogues as well that come from GNOME Shell, not just on the login screen. Okay, so let's go on and log in. Next, when we open the notifications panel, we can see that it has a new Do Not Disturb mode. When Do Not Disturb is enabled, the notification pop-ups aren't shown, with the exception of urgent notifications such as running out of battery. Next, when we go to the Activities Overview and click on the Applications list, we can now see that the app folders have changed in appearance. And it's now possible to edit the names of the folders more easily. Creating new app folders is much simpler now and can be done with simple drag and drop. Just drag a launcher on top of another to create a new folder. Now that this is implemented in GNOME Shell, the app folder editing functionality has now been removed from GNOME software. Next, we have the extensions app. This is new and part of GNOME Shell codebase now. The extensions app shows both system installed and user installed extensions. You can en enable and disable extensions globally and also individually. You can also configure those extensions that support it. To install new extensions, just go to extensions.gnome.org. Once installed, you can manage the extensions in the extensions app here. And it also allows updating and removing anything that's user installed. Now that this is implemented in GNOME Shell itself, the Shell extensions functionality has been removed from GNOME software, making software both faster and the code base easier to maintain. Next, GNOME Shell also has a number of improvements in both performance and underlying architecture. The JavaScript engine that GNOME Shell uses, GJS, has now switched from SpiderMonkey 60 to SpiderMonkey 68. This brings a number of new JavaScript language features from Firefox 68 now to GNOME Shell. There's also a number of visual style improvements, including the redesign of all of the system dialogues. Next, the power off options have been reorganized. Previously, you had to hold down Alt key to be able to access the suspend option. While this worked, it wasn't particularly discoverable for people who didn't know about it. And now with GNOME Shell 336, the suspend option is always visible. And finally, when we now click on power off, we get an example of how the system dialogues look now. I personally think it looks much nicer and cleaner now. So that was my video for today. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, please consider subscribing. It really helps this channel out. Thanks for watching. Bye.